another episode of Prognofection. Oh, yeah. Just making, uh, you know, an andouille sausage po' boy. Yeah. <laughs> Diced up some andouille. And uh, we're going to throw it on some buns. Yeah. That's going to be andouille sausage po' boy. Is mine going to be as good as my mom's? Is mine going to be as good as my brother's? out it was actually really good so i got myself worked up for nothing go figure anyhow i just want to show you and let you guys know that these are struggles that we deal with on the daily this stuff happens all the time and my point is is we can get into that thinking or stinking thinking when we get around certain people, maybe old acquaintances, maybe family, I don't know who it is. Anyways, the point is this can happen prior to us even going and hanging out with that person. Perfect example happened to me. I, I struggled with some stuff. I was uh, all worked up over something because I was going to go do some family stuff. Got all concerned about who I was going to be around and got a little anxiety about it. Then I stopped validating myself. Started uh, putting my happiness on expectations. And guess what? Those expectations were wrong. And I soon learned that I only confused myself for that time being. Now, I just want you to understand that I did work through this. And it was very nice. I brought it up to some people. Communication is huge. So I talked to a couple people and asked them for some advice. They said, Jordan, why are you comparing yourself to certain people in your life when you know that your success is right here? I thought, you're right. So I did a little thinking. And I thought, you know what? Where is this coming from? And I, uh, I did a little research on myself. Yeah, did a little insight. Guess what I found out? Yeah, the shameful thinking doesn't go anywhere. It stays there. But it's what we do with it after it hits us. So it was what I did after it hit me. And that thought of not being good enough uh, hit me and I communicated. I thought, you know what? Ah, I'm feeling a little alone right now. Why am I feeling alone? Hmm, probably because I'm the only one that's thinking like that at that moment. Yeah. Why am I saying that? Because we're all individuals. We all think and feel for ourselves. Nobody can make us feel any type of way or think any type of way. That's what we do to ourselves. That's my point. Let's accept this challenge. Let's figure out what's going on. You know, this good enough shameful thought. Yeah, it stuck with me all my damn life. And you know what? I am learning a way to let go of it. I'm learning a way to process it and understand the feelings that come behind it and the thoughts that come with it after that. And if I communicate it, then it helps me to get a different perspective from somebody else. And that is fulfilling. That is a great feeling. That's helping me be aware. Thank you. Like and subscribe if you want to see more insight on how we can tackle this thinking together.